The first step in creating a store is deciding whether you want to create a category or a widget. The difference is small but important. Both categories and widgets allow you to display products or coupon affiliate links. However, Cellfire categories get embedded on their own WordPress page. The plugin will create a new page for each category you create. On the other hand, widgets do not get their own WordPress page. You can choose to add them to either a blog post or to an existing page on your website. In this example, we are going to create a category, but the creation process is exactly the same. The first step in creating a new category is to select whether it will display a collection of product links or coupon links. Let's select product links. Next, we need to decide how we want the products in the category to look. We decide this by picking a theme. These aren't WordPress themes though. These are Cellfire themes that you define via the themes page of the plugin. We'll get back to creating a theme in a few minutes. The next step is deciding whether you want to select products manually or automatically. When you populate your category manually, you handpick each product that will appear in the store. When you populate your category automatically, you do not hand select each product. Instead, you simply define a product search. Any product that is returned by your product search will be automatically included in your category. Manually populated categories are good for when you want a small amount of very specific products in your store. Automatically populated categories are great for quickly adding a lot of products. Also, as new products that match your criteria are added by the merchant, they will automatically appear in your category. For this demonstration, let's create an automatically populated category. This screen is the Cellfire product search screen. Cellfire's product search is flexible and powerful. In this example, we're going to create a category for dishwashing machines. Let's start by finding all products with a product name that contains the word dishwasher. Once you run a search, the search results appear. The search results screen is divided into two sections. On the left hand side is the results browser. The results browser shows you all of the merchants that have products that match your search criteria. Remember, only merchants that we have selected on the merchants page will appear in the search results. You can sort the results browser by either merchant name or by the number of matched products using this drop down at the top. You can also use the results browser to drill into a merchant's categories. Just click the name of a merchant to expand its category list. If there are subcategories, you can also view them by clicking on a category name. You can see that as I am browsing the results browser, the search results on the right hand side of the screen are refreshing to view only the products from that particular selected merchant and category. On the right hand side of your screen is the search results. This shows you all the products that match your criteria. At the top you can see how many products were returned. You can see that not all the products being returned though are actually dishwashers. We need to filter out these unwanted products. We can do this in several ways. In the first method we could just add an additional filter. So let's add a requirement that the name of the product has to contain a well-known dishwasher brand. Filters allow you to enter in multiple terms by separating them with a comma. With this new filter in place, our search says that the name of the product must contain the word dishwasher, and in addition, the product name must also contain at least one of the phrases Maytag, GE, or Whirlpool. The Cellfire search panel also allows you to filter on many different attributes of the product. It also allows you to specify that a product cannot contain certain words. Another common way to hone in on the products that you are looking for is to filter by price. For instance, with dishwashers, we know that they are all going to cost more than $200. We can specify that too. Finally, we can also refine our search by using the result browser. We can view only the products from a particular merchant or in a specific category by browsing to that category in the result browser. Once you're satisfied with all the products being returned by the search, click the Save and Continue button. You can see that the plugin has created a new WordPress page for this category. Right now, the only contents of this page is the Cellfire shortcode. When the page is viewed, however, that shortcode will be replaced with your products. It's highly recommended that you write additional unique content for this page. This will drastically increase your chances of appearing in search engine results. 
All right, so let's click preview and take a look at our first category. As you can see, the category contains all of the products that were returned by the search that we just defined. 